this is my Nitro 4 tech. As you can see, I have a brand new 3.3 on here. This is the original 4 tech. Uh, back when it came out, I don't know, quite a few years ago, like 2004, 2005, something like that. I don't know. This is the original one. And it's just it's been crashed and upgraded and, you know, so I decided I wanted to give it a rally type look <clears throat> instead of these six year old tires that are on here um, which you know it gives it an okay amount of ground clearance not a whole lot uh, I am going to install these bad boys on here for the front and for the rear as you can see they are obviously bigger than these uh, everything fits these are 2.2 rims um, with off-road, I think, I believe these are Stampede, uh, give me a sec, got this plane coming, over here in Westover, Anyway, like I was saying, um, I wanted to give it a, a more of a rally look, lift it off the ground a little bit without having to do too much modification. And I'm just gonna fit these on. Um, so far, I think, oh, like I was saying, I think these came from the, the Stampede. These are Stampede um, wheels with the uh, 12 millimeter hex in the back. And I have to get um, extensions for the hex uh, for the rear. To give it clearance, let me see if I can. Get, uh, there we go. Yep. So that's what I have to put on the rear, so I can give it some more clearance. Because with these, right now they are maybe half a millimeter away from rubbing up against the chassis. And you can see on these, there's, there's a lot more clearance. So I'm going to put the tires on, and I'm going to come back, and I'll show you what the car looks like with the tires on. Got the wheels on it. Doesn't look too bad. Um, we'll do slight modification for the front front wheels and the rear wheels. The uh, rear wheels on this, for some reason, the camber is in a hell of a lot. I'm not sure if you can really tell. But what it is, it's going to rub up against the belt drive once I get it going. So I'm going to fix that up. Um, and clear up chassis over here uh, once I do that that should be fine and then for the front wheels um, it's like barely missing the uh, the pipe here and that's turned all the way in as far as it turns but the issue is on the bumper it's gonna rub here so I'm gonna take some of that foam off and I'm gonna take this little lip off right here uh, so you can see that. Take the little lip off that's right there. And it shouldn't rub anymore. Uh, other than that, it looks fine. So once I do that, I will pull the video back up and show you how it works. Final section before I pull it out and test drive it. Um, <clears throat> so cut away some of that, some of the front bumper and lip. I'm going to leave the foam there. I'll just let the tire wear out the foam. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, I got plenty of foam at the house back in Philly. Um, it's it's going to rub on the foam, but the car only goes forward, so it's not really a big deal. But it does clear the bumper on both sides. Turn it around for you. <clears throat> yeah, see? Clears the bumper. No rubbing. It just doesn't. It doesn't clear the foam, but I'll let the I'll let the tire wear out the foam. I'm not worried about that. Cause I have, I made I made this custom for the '69 uh, Camaro body I got. It wouldn't fit uh, full length. That's why it's all cut up in the front. But I adjusted the camera in the back. <clears throat> um, all I did was take out the uh, the tie rod 
and twist it out a little bit. Took out the tie rods right here. So I took out this piece. Hold on, give me one second. Just fucking focus it. Yep, took out this piece right here, twisted it out a little bit, and then plugged it back in. I mean, I, there's three different spots I could have plugged it into. Um, you know, there's three different holes here. I could have plugged it into there, but I didn't. I wanted to leave it where it was at. <coughs> so, this is what it looks like. So, I'm getting ready to start it up and drive in the grass. And let's see how that works. Right. So, I got the new tires on it. I'm about to give it a test drive. See how hot this thing gets. <laughs> 